Hello again, class. Here is the second page of your uh, Unit 2 test review. So number seven says, if you're on a plane that is going 100 kilometers per hour east, what is your velocity relative to a passenger next to you? Well, you're both on the plane, so if you're looking at that passenger, they're not moving, so therefore their uh, relative velocity is going to be zero. What about an observer standing on the ground? If they're looking at the plane and you're on the plane, well, how fast do they see the plane going? Well, they see the plane going at 100 kilometers per hour, okay, going to the east. Now, what about a car moving, okay? What would be your velocity relative to a car moving at 10 kilometers per hour going to the east, okay? Well, it's going to be 90 kilometers per hour, you have to take the difference of the two, okay? So um, from someone in a car, they're going to look at the plane. The plane's going to be moving 90 kilometers per hour, but it's going to be as if it's going the opposite direction, okay? So uh, the car moving at 10 kilometers per hour east, okay? But it's going to look like it's going the opposite way, okay? All right. Um, all right, number eight, a passenger on a school bus that is moving at a steady speed is at rest relative to school bus driver. Again, this is the same thing as if the passenger on a plane that you're already on. Same idea, okay, at rest. All right, for number nine, an elevator in an office building looks like as follows. It has 12 floors, and when you're working through these, don't count the floor where, uh, where the elevator is already at, where it begins. Okay, so from the first to the eighth floor is going to be 21 meters. From the eighth down to the fourth floor is going to be 12 meters. And the fourth to the 12th floor is going to be 24 meters. So um, you're going to find the distance by adding up all these individual distances, 21 plus 12, which is 33, 33 plus 24, which is going to be a distance of 57 meters. Now the displacement. Very simple question. Which floor did the elevator start on? Well, it starts on the first floor. See, it starts on the first, first floor, and then it ends on the 12th. So how far is it from the first all the way up to the 12th floor? Okay. Well, think of it this way. It starts here. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30 and then 33, 33 meters. All right, uh, for number 10, we have a position versus time graph where you're going to calculate the average velocity uh, from 0 to 1 seconds. Well, 0 to 1 seconds would be segment A. Well, it's 0 because it's flat. Now, for number 11, to find the instantaneous velocity, you have to use rise over run, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Pick a couple of points along the line. So I pick... Um, 60 meters minus 20 meters divided by 3 seconds minus 1 second. And so you'll end up with an instantaneous velocity of 20 meters per second. Number 12, what is the velocity from 4.5 to 7 seconds? So again, you want to use the slope formula, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. And so you'll end up with uh, 0 minus 60 meters, which is negative 60 meters, and 7 seconds minus... 4.5 seconds, which will be 2.5 seconds. So you're going to divide negative uh, 60 meters divided by 2.5 seconds to end up with a velocity of negative 24 meters per second. Notice that uh, this is a negative slope from 4.5 to 7 seconds. So this velocity is negative. That's why you have a negative sign. That's telling you you have a negative slope. Negative slope means negative direction. All right, number 13, which interval on the graph has the greatest magnitude of displacement? Which interval on the graph has the greatest magnitude of displacement? So you look at A, okay, A is 0, and then you look at B, B is from 20 to 60, so that's going to be 40. Okay, so that's 0, that's 40. Well, look at C. C is flat, just like A, so it's going to be 0. Now look at D. D goes all the way from 60 all the way to 0. So you're going to look at all these four segments, and you're going to 